have a wonderful weekend. Now, we've got a special thing that we need to do right now. That is Wiley Moody. This is his last day, so we just thought everyone would want to see who he is. Uh, he's an excellent camera person, works in our creative services department, and he's just an all-around good guy. See you, Wiley. All right, all of you have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you right here on Monday on Coffee Break. Great show. Don't miss it. Shrapnel, yellow fever, and nasty death under a blistering foreign sun. Looking back over the tumultuous American century and the war that began it, here is the Spanish-American War, birth of a superpower. More than two-thirds of the crew were killed or mortally injured, 268 men. Three magazines have gone up and essentially have blown the bow of the ship off the ship. In the bow is most of the crew. They see white things floating in the ocean in the darkness and it takes them an instant to realize these are bodies of American seamen who have been thrown out of their bunks and some have been vaporized, some have been uh, torn apart, others have been drowned. The ship settled to the bottom, the harbor's shallowness saving the remaining crew from drowning. A blinded sailor called out his fear of missing the New Orleans trip. Captain Sigsby promised brokenly that the Maine would go nowhere without him. During a night in which Spanish rescuers worked tirelessly alongside Americans to bring away the dead, wounded, and swimming, Captain Sigsby sent a remarkably restrained message to Washington. Sigsby is well aware that there's a war fever in Washington. Hello once again and welcome to Victory Lane. I'm your host, Brian Unangst. After a weekend of cancellations because of rain, we finally got a day with sun here at Evergreen and we can get some racing action without further ado to you, the fans, right now. Lately, you may have heard internet companies using the term commodity pricing when referring to their T1 business connection. Sounds nice, but at Penn Teledata, we started wondering, what the heck does it mean? Because according to the dictionary, commodity is generally a term used for agricultural products like wheat or soybeans. Hmm, maybe they're growing T1 lines in a field somewhere, or maybe there's a T1 farm we don't know about. Either way, it doesn't beat Penn Teledata's price on a super fast T1 internet connection. Just $450 a month lets you download information up to 50 times faster than a regular modem. You'll always be connected, and with Penn Teledata's Network Control Center, you get 24-7 monitoring and assistance. It may not be commodity pricing, but it's the best price you'll find anywhere. For more about T1 Internet Connections at just $450 a month, call 877-PTD-4T1s. That's 877-783-4817. Or visit us online at www.ptd4t1s.com.
Leon's Country Cycles, we're big enough to serve you, yet small enough to care. The Pocono Record. What's your reason to read? Our award-winning journalism or your daily dose of comics? Killer sports coverage or mega classifieds? Today's fashions or tomorrow's weather? Pocono Weekend tells you what's hot, what's not, and why you should get up off the couch and go out this weekend. TV Week attunes you to the tube, while our monthly magazine meets your special interests. The Pocono Record, a reason to read every day.